Scott the Big Jew here, and if you've got one of these Cybas, you may be wondering, how do I get this thing to work on my XP box? So what we did was, did a little hunting, and found the name of the file that you need to Google, so you too can get this file. It's right here. The name of the file is Santa Via F, I'm sorry, VT6421. And if you do any sort of search for a driver that says VIA, VT6421, you're going to get a hit, and you're going to get a directory of nothing but VIA driver files. And what's going to happen is, if you looked in your XP device manager, and to get to the device manager, you go into control panel and then system. System properties is going to look like that. And then what you're going to want is the device manager. Device Manager brings up that, and what you do is you hit the driver that is in the yellow exclamation, and if you look, there's the yellow, and right-click on it, and that'll bring up a property section, or you can just update the driver straight from there. You can update the driver very simply. It's going to come up with this little thing. Well, it's already failed and not got on the internet before to get any drivers. So the second section will say install from a list that you specify. That's the bottom half right there. You go ahead and choose that second option and it'll give you a place where you can actually browse to a driver section. And I know where I personally put it because look at the name. It's very, very simplistic. Even you could do this. It says Windows via RAID V580C. And that's where I extracted the contents. And you're going to look for the VIA RAID driver directory. That's VIA V RAID DRV. And just select your operating system. In this case, it's XP. And it is 32 bits, so it's represented by x86. You hit OK. You hit Next. And watch what happens on the screen. It's going to install. There it goes from an exclamation mark to, wow, what do we got here? We got a driver that actually matches the hardware that's installed. So this very, very slow hard drive is chugging along, looking for these files. In a moment, it'll install, and then you too can use your Cyba right there with the VIA VT6421 RAID chipset. Also good for serial ATA standalone. Even has a port for Ultra ATA 133. Kind of a neat little device. Uh, just finding the driver for it was a real pain. Going to the Cyba site sucked. So, anyway, that's what happened. Look over here. It found it. There's the VIA controller. It's installing it. Your speed will vary. I'm sure it'll be faster than this, since this machine is pathetically slow, and that's why we're installing it. So, we can add SATA to this machine and stick a nice, fast drive on it. It's uh, been installed, so all you got to do is restart, and there you go. So, your machine... No, it ain't going to look like this. Not this bad. See that little gizmo with the blue? Well, that's the Cyba card that used to not have any functionality whatsoever because it didn't know what to do. Now, when it reboots, and it's slowly doing that here on the XP side, it's coming down ever so slightly. And when it reboots, it'll be live, and it'll be kicking. Yes, alive and kicking. The Simple Minds. All right, it's the Big Jew. Normally, we're saving you money. This time, we're saving you some time. I could save you a little money here, make you not have to go out and buy that PC that you always wanted to get because it's so new. Because really all you need is a faster hard drive in most cases. The amount of memory you have could be a factor. Uh, make sure you got at least a gig of RAM. This machine's got 1.5. But CPU-wise, I mean, unless it's absolutely a pathetic CPU, you should be running pretty darn pretty. So anyway, this is Scott from TheBigJew.com. And we'll look for you next time here on how to save tips in five minutes or less. That's right, how to save you lots of sanity with our tips in five minutes or less. Take care.